Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Kitsune Kitchen. Previously, we dated a toaster. Yes, siree. Alright, let's go in order. We'll go with fridge. Let's apologize. We will apologize to the fridge. We'll apologize now. Apologizing to the fridge. I keep reiterating that because it's a thing that we're doing. A thing that should be normal. Wait, no, I mean not normal. Wait, now I'm confused. See, this is what happens when you're dating appliances. Oh, jeez, I'm so sorry, Mr. Refrigerator. You see, I just really need to get in there. That seems rather forward, don't you think? Please forgive me, Miss Fridge. Teach me how to change. My name is Fridget, and in my home country of Sweden, we learn to forgive. His hands were so warm on me. Usually I don't like the feeling of warm swings, but this time, it felt so strange. So good. How can Benny be of service? Teach me the ways of love. By love, I mean making a good BLT. Well, actually, you're quite a handsome refrigerator. You come here often? Yes, because the refrigerator is not exactly running. It's running, but it's not that kind of running. Do I come here often? I am a refrigerator. How could I ever leave? Uh, I... Heart, heart, heart. Is it getting hotter in here? To you? I can help with that. Are we just gonna chill out? The refrigerator door whisks open with a cool breeze of air, brushing at your face like a gentle kiss. What would you like to take? Meat. You got some bacon. Now we just need to ignore everybody else. Oh. Hello. How can I be of service? Should we say love again? Would that be a bad choice? No, never mind. It's always a good choice. Love is always the answer, apparently. You look nice in this light, Frigette. How is the light any different than usual? Oh, well, uh, I guess what I mean is, I've always thought the fridge was the most important part of any kitchen. You know, because all the food expires without it. Well, thank you for this compliment. I do need to get something else. I've been enjoying a little encounter with Frigette. Maybe a bit cold at times. See, I didn't make that one. But I know you'll never let me down. When you give me the cold shoulder, I like it. That one was me. That baby... That baby... That... Let me start from the beginning. That may just be because you have not need to go down to my freezer drawer at all. I haven't needed anything. But if you want me to check, I can do that. In the freezer. The drawer. I kinda could go for some ice cream right now. It couldn't hurt to check, just to make sure. You lower yourself to the freezer, cautiously sliding your fingers inside the loop of her handle. We're just so far gone. Even the description shows it's still just a fridge. This person just falls asleep with anime, and they just see it everywhere. Your fingers curl, reaching that sweet spot that allows you to tuck and slide all the way open. I don't think there's anything I need in here. Keep looking. Deeper. You ruffle through the frozen goods. Peas, clams, sausages. Nothing you need for a BLT. The fridge rattles and quicks as you sift through her goods. And her door pops open, revealing the items you really came for. The veggies. You got some vegetables. And that was it. Well, that was fun. By fun, I mean it took us a while. How can I be of service? More love. Hello again, Frigget. Hello. I've been thinking about you a lot. You being there, being a fridge and all. Just being there, being a fridge. Because you're a fridge. Thinking about me, I don't know what to say. 
I've taken a lot out of you, Frigget. I've been thinking eventually I'm going to have to put something back in. Excuse me. I don't know what it's supposed to mean, but it sounds like a good thing. I'm thinking I got to put that sandwich back in because it made it really big and I'm not going to be able to eat it. Move these leftovers from McDonald's. Copyright trademark McDonald's. I want to put this meat inside of your fridge yet. It's raw. It needs to be refrigerated. I have a confession. May I tell you it? You can tell me anything. I mean, while I'm here being crazy and all, I I'm no good at telling people how I feel, but here it goes. I love feeling your warmth on me and inside me. When your whole arm is in there, I just can't stand but to light up inside and lose my cool. That was pretty good. I like that one. That was pretty good. I want you so bad. Every day, taking things in and out of me at your will. I want to give you everything you need to take all you have to give. Until I reach capacity. I have a gift for you, love. Will you accept it? Of course. What is it? I want you to open wide and taste my first cool le- What? It's a perfect temperature and sweetness. You have to drink it now, but I want you to take it and think about me while you swallow all of my juice. Tell it gets the market's juice. I will. Making a sandwich! Questioning my life choices. Making a sandwich. Questioning my... Uh, this is something I actually got some bacon on this damn thing. I still can't figure out what these are, these pink things. Give me some bread. You lay a slice of toast down and cover crispy meaty bacon. Frigette, you feel so cold against my bare neck. How did we get the fridge up here? Honey, we're home. Here, you take out the tra- Oh my stars! But Mom, get out of here! What are you doing to the refrigerator? That's a family refrigerator. Everything here is the family. Mom, I love her. And apparently I'm super strong because I got her up here by myself. And this bed is really big because I fit a fridge. It makes no sense. We will take the veggies. And then we will save the game. Let's check out Knife. See what Knife has for us. I should probably be careful with this knife. If it ends up being anything like the others, I wouldn't want to get myself shanked. That's exactly what's gonna happen. You cautiously approach the knife and poke the handle. The knife giggles. Hello? Hello? Are you alive? In a real way, not in like an imaginary way like everyone else here? Then again. Hmm. All in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Of course I'm alive. I've been right here waiting for you. All day. Just waiting. For you. Y you've been waiting for me. How did you know I was coming? Even from the loud noise of us walking into the kitchen. Well, I didn't. I'm always waiting for you, really. It's about time you showed up. Now you can choke me! To choke you. Yes, wrap your hands around me and squeeze me tight. I like the heart pupils, but everything else has gotta go. Especially the personality. Do it now! Sharp, hey! Uh, I like that. You grab the handle of the knife and lift it off the countertop. Yes, harder. Squeeze. Harder. Squeeze harder. Yes, you need a tight grip to control the blade. Now counterbalance the knife. Quick slash and retract. That's how you do the basics of CQC. Now up, down, up, and down. 
Left to right, start select. You bounce sharp, pay up and down, feeling the rub against the palm of your hand. The moisture and warmth rattles your hand bone. You realize your palm has gone clammy. Are we gonna lick the knife? Cause we tend to lick things, that's not gonna be nice. That's it. That's how you use a knife. You place the now moist knife back down on the counter. Sheesh, she really need to practice more. Do you think so? I need to cut some vegetables for my sandwich. Cut. I love cutting. What do you need to cut? I'll cut anything. I mean it. Anything. I'll cut your taxes in half, my new accounting. I mean, they did say anything. Sharpay's eyes glare at you with a sharpness that makes you shiver. You chuckle out of nervous laughter. <laughs> Sharpay, right? Can you help me cut some things? Sharpay lets out a devilish laugh that seems more like moaning. <laughs> I like it when you beg. Beg for it. Who's in control of this knife now? Please? Louder! Please? You're kind of boring. What do you want me to use food me for anyway? Well, I got some vegetables from Frigette for my BLT sandwich. Uh, excuse me? BLT, it's a sandwich with bacon, lettuce, tomato. Frigette. How dare you! Sharpay's blade bl shakes atop the counter. Silver fading into the pink peak dark into a red glow as steam rises up around her. How does steam rise up around a knife? Where is that cold-hearted floozy? I'll kill her! I'll cut the ice off her thick, selfish chest. I bet that loose door would open up nice and wide for me anyway, like a tramp. I feel like you're just gonna chip your blade. Not a good idea. And you... How dare you betray my trust. Considering every single one of these appliances has their own personality, we have a very vivid imagination. I, I didn't mean... We should just be a writer. Shut up. I need to cut. Give me something to cut. Tomato. How about this tomato? T tomato. Sharpay's feelings seem to have drastically changed. Is something wrong? It's just that. I've always wanted to cut a tomato. Sharpay blushes. At the art, I'm not seeing it. It's so red. Just like blood. Uh, yeah, that's right. Red. Yeah. Can I pick you up? Do it slowly. I want to enjoy how it feels against my face. Isn't your face on the blade? You lift up the blade and send the juicy red tomato on the cutting board. Sharpay lets out another creepy laugh. <laughs> As the edge of her blade teases the tomato's fragile, sensitive skin. I'm pushing it in now. Into the tomato. The bulging redness splits and spreads apart from the tomato. The soaking tear lets out squirts of liquid in Sharpay's face from the tomato. Strangely, it seems to disappear as quickly as it leaks out from the tomato. Mmm. The blade makes contact with the board and you lift the knife up. Sharpay gasps. Cool. I can barely breathe down there. I want more now. You push the knife back down into the tomato, successfully creating a single slice. You feel as though you're practically a gourmet chef by now. You are not. That's enough. I'm done. Wait a little on time, or I might just snap. <laughs> Don't you dare think I'm not still angry with you. We decided it's best not to speak of anyone else around Sharpay. I need to cut some lettuce. You lay the head of lettuce on the cutting board. Gosh, the head is so big and round. The lettuce. I see plenty bigger, though. The lettuce. Well, aren't you just gonna stand there? We're gonna get this party started. Party? There's a party? Well, I kind of feel bad for this lettuce, you know? This is clearly more intelligent than you. Ah, just shut up and use me already, would ya? You take the knife in your hand and feel your control of your situation swiftly evading you. Your hand violently plunges down towards the lettuce, and paling the mighty green beast has been slain. Or so you think. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. 
Your hand, apart from your own desires, dives down for a second stab into Lennis. The stabbing begins to take a pace, so you cannot stop the violence. <laughs> I love taking my rage on these stupid vegetables. Harder. You thrust back against her as the speed of each motion increases. The vegetable takes significant damage. It was very effective. Not long after, Gary Oak comes out from behind the fridge. You thought you were done, Ash. But I know you just went through Mount Moon and I got you. Oh wait, where am I? This is a kitchen. Yeah, this ain't Pokemon. Oh yes, baby, let's kill together. I want more. I need more. Give her more. Once again, you increase the speed of your vegetable slashing. Bits of vegetation are flung about the room at intense velocity. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Why won't you love me? In your fit of chopping, you nick the side of your hand, spilling a few drops of blood into the countertop and the face of Blade. It's a disqualification, if there's a cooking show. The master, you you have given me your blood. Ow! It was an accident. Shh, I already know what you're going to say. It was an act of love. No, it was an accident. I'm bleeding. Help? Please use me some more, Master. I mean, you're a knife. I, I intend to. I need you. M more, more, more. Oh, that was a bad thing to do. Oh yeah, you like that? I love it. Do it harder. You lift a knife to the sky, and with the face of a thousand lesser demons, you perform the ultimate power attack. Rising knife Reno. You slash down the vegetables and miss drastically. You slash your hand. Oh no. What? Failing your spewing number on the kitchen, blood sprays the walls, floors, even your mom's favorite naughty fireman calendar. You're dead. This game has bad endings? Okay, so let's not destroy ourselves. Maybe next time. Maybe next time, Sharpay. I've been maimed enough for one day, and I just got a bad ending and reloaded, so technically I'm a time traveler. But let's not talk about that for now, because that's breaking the fourth wall. Why do you teach me so, Master? I'll never forget the taste of your blood. Thanks. I'll never forget all the chopped vegetables you have provided for me. You got chopped vegetables. We look, we look kind of crazy. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I never thought it would be so hard. I've always envied the attention of the girls in my Japanese books, but dang, is this really something else? I've got to make lunch, right? Among other things. That's why I'm here. Lunch. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, anime, s s and sandwich. That's right, a sandwich. I'm starving. I can almost taste her now. That's one way to make out. I think we're bleeding. Your body feels so nice on my skin, Sharpe. Shall I squeeze you tighter? Sweetie, my darling child of mine, we're back from Florida. Oh my god. But Mom, I can explain. Also, I'm dying. Making out with a knife was a terrible idea. It's the sun. Mom. Knives are dangerous. Give me that. Don't ever put knives in your bed. But I was just trying to get ready for my deal, Brando cosplay. I've been searching for somebody special.